بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈ ویلکم ٹو پلائی یور لرننگ لنگویسٹکس ود ٹی ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر وی آر گونا ٹاک اباؤٹ ٹریڈیشنل گرام اینڈ مائی ٹو آبجیکٹو فار دس لیکچر آر انڈرسٹینڈنگ دی ہسٹوریکل ڈیولپمنٹ آف ٹریڈیشنل گرامر اینڈ اٹس سگنیفیکینس ان لینگویج اسٹڈیز اینڈ سیکنڈ ون از ڈیولپنگ نالج اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف دا بیسک کانسیپٹس اینڈ رولس آف ٹریڈیشنل گرامر سو وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ تھریٹیکل اینڈ فلوسفیکل فاؤنڈیشن آف ٹریڈیشنل گرامر اینڈ واٹس دا پرپز آف ٹریڈیشنل گرامر ویل ایز دا کی کمپوننٹس of TG and the application of traditional grammar. So let's move to our first slide. But before this, please like, share and subscribe Linguistics with Tia and you can get complete blog of this lecture by clicking on the link given in the description section that is www.linguisticswithtia.com So don't forget to like, share and subscribe Linguistics with Tia. Have fun learning. So friends, traditional grammar is a prescriptive approach to the study of language that emphasizes rules for correct usage it is often focused on written form of the language you can say tg is a prescriptive approach that focuses on the rules of language usage such as spelling punctuation syntax and morphology it often involves the study of parts of speech verbs tenses and sentence structure it aims to establish norms for correct language use traditional grammar is often associated with formal education and is frequently taught in schools so friends traditional grammar has its roots in the study of latin and greek and it emphasizes the importance of rules for correct usage often based on classical models it's influenced by the work of grammarians such as anaxagoras trax wrote the first systematic grammar of greek in 2nd century bc and the second scholar is robert who wrote short introduction to the english grammar in 1762 these were the first writer as you can say scholar of tg and the basic purpose was nothing except to write something that is systematically correct grammatically as i have mentioned earlier the purpose of traditional grammar is nothing except to provide rules and guidelines for the use of language and these rules are based on the established model and tradition tradition grammar seeks to describe the correct usage of language and often focuses on issues such as spelling punctuation and sentence structure so the basic purpose of traditional grammar was nothing except to get a uniformed form of writing on the target language or you can say uniformed form of language for written or spoken purposes friends the components of traditional grammar are parts of speech that identify part of speech including nouns verbs adjective adverbs preposition conjunction pronouns and interjection part of speech is defined by its function the sentence the kinds of words can modify are to be modified by next is syntax traditional grammar emphasizes the importance of correct word order and sentence structure and provides rules for constructing grammatically correct sentences for example traditional grammar more emphasizes the importance of subject verb agreement such as he runs versus he run or i am versus i are so obviously the correct syntactic structure is i am and he runs how we can know that is the correct tense or structure just because of the passing of traditional grammar that prescribe rules and that tells us about what rules the speakers have to follow So friends tradition grammar provide rules for using language correctly and avoid common error for example tradition grammar emphasizes the importance of using proper spelling punctuation commas separate items in a list are using apostrophes to indicate possessive form here we are going to talk about the application of traditional grammar and first application is sentence diagramming it often uses sentence diagrams to illustrate the structure of a sentence for example a simple sentence like the cat sat on the mat might be diagram grammed with the subject cat on the left the verb sat in the middle and the object mat on the right part at the right side of the sentence so friends traditional grammar provides us analysis of the parts of speech providing a framework for analyzing the parts of speech in a sentence for example in the sentence the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog a traditional grammar would identify quick and lazy as well as brown as adjective because it is modifying noun and jumped as a verb and over as preposition next is correct usage traditional grammar provides rules for using language correctly like i am versus i is he runs versus he run so friends traditional grammar is a prescriptive approach to the study of language that prescribe rules that 
tells us how to say something correctly and grammatically must be correct and uh, what rules the speakers have to follow its main focus is on writing and transcribing rules as well as on the language the mechanical things of language like grammar syntax phonology etc said of the speakers language are the grammar that focuses on the speaker and of the language itself is descriptive approach or you can say modern form of grammar here traditional grammar simply focuses on rules and correct usage of language in grammatically correct sentences mm-hmm.